Welcome back to Ask Rory, presented by BMW. I see you arrived in style today, Rory. I did. I arrived in the new BMW iX in style and very quietly. It's definitely the, the quietest BMW I've ever driven. A nice electric vehicle. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Are you ready for some Ask Rory questions? I am. Well, let's go with our first question here and let's see what he has to ask you. Hi, Rory. This is CMAC Aria from Cupertino. I'm a big fan and I have been struggling to get my hip rotation correctly to both save my hip and also improve my distance. So if you have any drills that can help me with my hip rotation or movement, I would very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, hip rotation. Hip Rory, rotation. I mean, talk to us about and you, you, I mean, you yeah. are famous for fast hips and you Yeah, I, fortunately, it's not something I've really had to work on. It's something that's came quite naturally to me. But yeah, let me, I'll go grab a driver here and we can, we can talk about it. So I guess it's something that should happen naturally. I think your hips are at least on the way back. You know, they're, you know you're trying to get into your right hip and you're trying to make a full turn. So then on the way down, you're just trying to, you know, I mean, you don't need to have your hips wide open at impact, but you know, you just need them to sequence properly so that they, you know, your upper body and your lower body are sort of coming through, coming through the ball at the same time. Um, as, as far as a drill, I think trying to just keep connected. I always like, I'm a very, feel like a right-sided player. So I feel on the way down having my right arm and right elbow hip knee sort of moving together through the shot you know that'll automatically just get your hips sort of going in the right direction and and sort of matching everything up is sort of what i would try to feel well let's see you hit one with that if you would please see if you can uh, see if your first drive can match the style of your drive to the club today. yes that would be very Wouldn't nice that be nice that would be all right so I'm just thinking about trying to get everything coming through together. So from here, right elbow, right hip, right knee, everything together. Well, that one will work, no doubt about it. Now, you said you're predominantly a right-sided player. Has that been from you know, way back in Northern Ireland at Hollywood. Have you always been right-sided player, Rory? I've always been sort of very right side, um, right-handed, right-footed, you know, throw a ball, kick a, you know, everything's been very right-sided for me. So I think my feels are very much that way. Anytime someone's tried to give me a left-sided feel, I, it's, it's been harder for me to grasp. So anything that sort of is a right-side feel for me is, uh, is much easier to try to, um, implement I guess. Now um, our golf pass member also asked about hip mobility something yes. you probably don't have a lot of trouble with but when you play in the pro-ams you play in and you play with people who are a bit older like me and I've got not exactly the best hip mobility in the world what might you suggest I mean your dad he's a very good player but he's uh, you know he's getting up there a little bit now. Yeah. What, and I what... think I think as well there's a lot of people that I play with in pro-ams that are have office jobs or sit at a desk the entire time and, and sitting is is not really any good for your hips um, it sort of tightens everything up so I mean there's some hip mobility exercises that that I certainly do and so when you're playing in a tournament wherever it might be the Masters the PGA the the Open Championship would you be stretching before every round yeah so I'd certainly be dynamically stretching before every round. I think that, you know, there's different ways to stretch and different ways to mobilize your body. I would certainly say that before a round, you don't want to be doing passive stretching or anything that's like yoga or anything like that. I think that turns muscles off. It doesn't get you ready to play. That's, that's more for after the round as more of a recovery tool. But before the round, dynamically stretching, dynamically moving your body in different motions, even something like swinging a heavy club, you're still stretching, you're still working on mobility. You know, even something like that is a, is a good thing to do. Very good, I think that more than answers uh, the, the, the question. How about hitting one more to just right. show us your hip mobility? Okay.
Well, that was a beauty. One of your best, no doubt about it. Now, that should certainly help with your hip mobility and answer that question about perhaps thinking right knee, right hip, right shoulder through the ball altogether. And thank you for watching Ask Rory, presented by BMW.